this video, we're just going to look at the basics of the PolyN Tracker. So we'd want to start off with a new song, but I already have some stuff loaded in here. I'm just going to show kind of the basics of what you want to do first. So let's say you're at a blank track here. So before we do anything, we have to load some samples in. So just go to Sample Loader. Now we'll see a menu here, and you see the box here can move it left and right. I want to go down to samples and then we press this. Imagine this is your enter key. So we see a bunch of sample directories here. I'm just going to pick one. So let's go to logo welt synth. And now we can see a whole bunch of samples here. So what you can do is arrow up and down and press preview right here. I kind of like that one. So now we, what we have to do is press arrow right. Now we're in this box. So these are our instruments. These are what we can choose to add to the song. And I have already loaded a whole bunch. So let's preview them. So we have all those sounds. But this one over here, I want to load in. So I'm going to go and select an empty track and press enter. And there it is. First thing you want to do is press instrument parameters. And we see over here volume. So we can play to hear what it sounds like. Make sure volume selected and we can change the values here. You can also use the arrows to change the values. So just keep it a little quieter here. Another cool thing is just go into effects here and you'll see reverb send and delay send. So if I turn up reverb send, okay, that sounds good. And also delay send, we can hear it sent to the delay effect. All right, let's go back to the sample loader. We're gonna go to slot nine on our instruments and go to the left and it'll go straight to the root directory. Let's choose drums. There's bass drum I see right there. Let's listen to it. Okay, that's what I want. I can press enter because it's gonna go straight into here. Done. Let's see what else there is. Okay, I want that and instead, so I press enter. This action will replace the instrument. Do you wanna continue? Yes. Now that's loaded. So again, we'll go into volume. Okay, great. So once you have a whole bunch of samples loaded in, we can now go into the pattern. So pattern can move up and down with the arrow keys. If record isn't enabled, you'll see the cursor is green. So if you turn the knob now, you can scroll up and down. If you want to go immediately to the home, hold down shift and press home. Now you're up at the top. So we can navigate left and right, and we see different columns here. So each section here, the first one is note, and that you can see note right here. The next column is instrument. If we're on instrument, we can switch between different samples or MIDI tracks. Then we have effects one and effects two. I want the view to be compact, so I'm going to hold down pattern and press note and instrument. Now you can see, we can see all of the tracks. I'm going to press note here. Now what we can do here is hold this down and we can see which key is what here. So A6 is right here. And also select the note by turning the knob. Now if we enable record, this will turn red. We can select a note via the menu here. Just hold down note if you ever get lost here. You can see each column here is lined up right along with these pads. So you can't really get too lost when doing this. Just note when you're, let's say we're down here and you hold note and you choose a note, it will enter it in. So that's one way you can enter in notes. 
Let's say I want to change it. I can just press it here or I can turn the knob. So you can compose the notes by ear pretty easily. So you might notice I have this set to step zero and that means if I enter in a note, it's not gonna move the cursor. If I set it to one, for example, and I press a note, it's gonna go down one. If I set it to two, it's gonna skip one. So let's actually make, I wanna change instruments. So I'm gonna hold down instrument and then we scroll down to Moog, cause that's the one that I want. Or you can press here to preview to find out what you wanna use. Now we let go of it, and now it just entered in that as the note. So let's say I want it to be a bass line. So make sure record is enabled, and we'll see a red cursor. And now I'm gonna hold down note. Where we want, let's see, G4. So I'm gonna press it. Okay, so that's the note I wanna press because it's gonna skip two steps. So we're gonna press it. Again, we're gonna go up an octave down an octave. I'm just going to repeat that. Now we're going to go down to F4, which is right here. Okay, let's change it to step zero. Press play. Okay, let's turn off record. And it's actually going to follow the cursor. Okay, so we have our bass down. Let's go shift home to go to the top. I'm gonna press record. Now what I wanna do is enter in some drums. So I'm gonna hold down instrument. And we're gonna scroll down to that new bass drum that I added. Okay, so now I'm gonna enter in the beat. Kick drum, kick drum. I want a snare here. So I hold down instrument. Let's go to the snare, there it is. Now I'll let go of instrument and it just popped up. So if I enter another note in, it's gonna stay a snare. I wanna go back to the kick drum. So hold down instrument and let's find that kick drum. There it is, let go. And there we're back to that. And we can just keep repeating this. Maybe let's have a hi-hat right there. Do the other kick. There we go. Okay, let's go to the top and listen to what we just added. All right, let's actually stop this. Now what I wanna do is look to see where I have an octave that's higher and on all of those, I'm gonna insert a snare. So snare, done with that one. See, it's a low bass note and then a high one. That's where I want the snare. So now, if we play it, let's turn it off record so it can follow the cursor, press play. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's add some other instrument here. So let's go to instrument and let's listen. Okay, let's use that. I'm gonna press record. Okay, so there's the snare, there's the hi-hat. Let's put another note here. By pressing insert, we can push notes forward or shift backspace and it pulls it up. Let's see how that sounds. I think this note should go up. So we're going to select it with make sure records enabled and we're going to turn the knob. There we go. That sound we're on number five. Let's actually go into the parameters. Let's go into effects. Let's turn up some reverb on that. See how that sounds. 
There it is. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna turn the volume down, a little down on it. There we go. When you're in pattern view, if you hold down pattern and turn, it'll switch between what patterns we want to use. So let's go into song view. So in song view, we can see the tracks all laid out here. We can see what tracks we're not using. And we see slot one, pattern one. So let's listen to that. Yeah, so I want that to play two times. So I'm gonna press add slot. We'll see slot two is pattern one. We're gonna add another slot. Let's change that to say pattern two, which is just one track. I'm gonna press play. Okay, add slot. Now we have pattern two playing twice. Add another slot. Let's do say pattern three. Now I'm gonna to go to the top here and press play. We can listen to what we have. So the song just looped back around and it's just going to keep doing that until I press play to stop it again. So those are the basics of sequencing and using samples in the Polyon Tracker.